Hey everyone, this is Dan Walter from Factor Underground Tech. In today's video, I'm going to cover how to figure out the tempo and time signature of your project. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna cover is time signatures. Um, I have a preloaded session here with some loops uh, loaded in, each in different time signatures. Um, so time signatures, can be a little bit confusing at first. Um, they're a little bit of an elusive topic. Um, but as we go through it and you listen to some music and different time signatures, they're definitely going to be under something that you're going to come to understand. So with the time signature, we have a top and a bottom number, a numerator and a denominator. It looks just like a fraction. Um, so the top number is the one that we're really going to want to focus on here. So music is commonly divided into uh, what we would call different beats, right? Um, and there can be different emphasis on different parts of the beat. And that's all that time signature is really uh, dictating. It's quantifying this for us in a way that makes sense. Um, so really all we got to do is use our ears to figure out how the beat is naturally divided. And that's going to tell us what our time signature is. So our numerator is going to be, or our top number, is going to be how many beats we have per musical phrase or uh, per bar. So that's the one we're really going to want to focus on. The bottom number is dictating the length of each note, essentially, uh, whether it be a quarter note, an eighth note, a sixteenth note. Um, for our purposes, we're not going to go too far into that. We more so are going to want to focus on how each musical phrase is divided. So let's start with 4-4 four, four time. 4-4 uh, four, four is when you open up a session of logic, it's going to automatically be in 4-4 four, four time, and that's because it's usually most common. Um, it's even called common time. So in some uh, music, you might see it notated with just a C, and that's what it's referring to is 4-4 four, four time. So in 4-4 four, four time, we have four beats per measure, um, and each beat is a quarter note. Let's not worry too much about the quarter notes right now. So right here, I have some drum loops preloaded in here, which are going to kind of show you what each of those sounds like. So first, let's just listen to the metronome, and I'll count along with it to show you kind of the division of the beats. So we got this. One, two, three, four. So that's how 4-4 four, four time would sound like. Let's hear that in more of a musical context here now. So I'll let, I'll do one measure up front of just the metronome, and then you'll hear the drums. So as you can see, it's it's pretty natural to feel um, that that's divided into four like that. Um, if you really, really go in close and analyze the music, you can tell that he's actually playing in phrases of four beats. Um, but we don't need to break it down that far. A lot of the time, it's just a feel thing. It's about what feels right and what's going to make most sense when you're notating the music or when you're counting it in your head. So I have a couple more uh, common time signatures here. Uh, I have them listed out here. 4-4, four, four, that's our common time. 6-8 is another one that you'll hear a lot. And then we have also 3-4. So let's listen to 6-8 first. So let's listen to the metronome first. So that's sounding a little bit different. Um, and 6-8 time, the emphasis is on the 1 and the four. So it'd be like one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's hear that along with the metronome. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it helps to over exaggerate like that sometimes because it really will help you uh, feel the essence of that time signature. Now let's hear that in context with the drums. So I'll do one up front. So as you can tell there, 6-8 uh, is a little less common, but it's definitely something we still hear a lot. Um, and if you really listen to those drums, they're breaking, broken up into six beats um, each. Now let's listen to 3-4. 
So here's the metronome first. One, two, three. And now let's listen to those drums. So as you can probably hear there, the drummer is really emphasizing the beginning of each phrase with that kick drum. He's going one, two, one, two, one, two. So time signatures, you can probably tell by now, is really, really all about feel. And it's something that as you kind of keep going on and on and you're listening to more and more music, you'll really start to get a feel for each time signature and it'll almost come naturally. You won't have to think about it very much. So now let's move on to tempo. Well, and time signature combined, they're both very uh, closely related. So I'm gonna open up another session here. Um, and in this session, I have a preloaded beat here. Um, now this would be a pretty common uh, thing that you might run into in your career where you're gonna listen to, well, somebody will send you a beat or somebody's going to come up with a beat or something and you have to tell uh, like logic isn't necessarily right off the bat going to know what the tempo and time signature is of this. Um, so time signature for the most part, that's probably something you're going to have to figure out. Um, I already know that this beat is in 4-4. Four, four. Let's give it a listen here. So you can kind of tell there it's broken up into four, uh, four, four. Um, now the tempo is something different. That's the speed at which we're counting. Like it wouldn't be the same uh, thing if I were to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, as if I were to go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that's where our tempo comes in. Um, tempo is also sometimes referred to as BPM or beats per minute. Sounds a lot like miles per hour and that's because it's the same thing. It's the speed at which it's going. Um, so we can figure out the tempo in a number of ways, but my favorite way to do it is with the BPM counter in Logic because it's gonna give you an exact reading on it. So let's do this. We're gonna go, gonna open up my mixer and then on the stereo out I'm going to add the BPM counter so it's actually it's in your metering and then you just go BPM counter stereo that's great and then all we got to do is play our project um, and let it listen to it So 80.5 beats per minute is what um, the plugin is coming up with. So now I can go ahead and just key that in here. I can go 80.5. And now as you can tell, the, the grid's going to lock up there. And what this is going to do is now my grid is going to be totally in line with uh, what's happening in my beat. So if I zoom in here, you can see these drums are lining up exactly with the beat. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now this is really helpful because if your beat is lining up, well, with your beat or any kind of music that you're working with, if it's lining up, with the uh, tempo and time signature, that's gonna make editing way easier and also helpful because there are a lot of um, plugins that are gonna link up to your tempo and time signature and you wanna be sure that you have the right tempo and time signature so that it's all linking up. Something else that this is helpful for is for making markers. So if I drop down this menu right here, um, if I were to make markers um, and I didn't have the tempo and time signature keyed in there, it wouldn't be exact as to where each section was. But now, since it's all linked up, I can go, all right, I'll create a marker here. I might go intro, and then everything comes in right here. Might create another marker, call that verse one. 
and so on. So yeah, that's basically it with figuring out your tempo and time signature. Thanks for tuning in. This has been a Factory Underground Tech quick tip video. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a like and feel free to comment to let us know what you might like us to cover in the future. For more info about us and our program, please visit us at www.factoryundergroundtech.com.